Hi guys and welcome to Backbone. So today we're going to be starting this game, which is described as sort of like a story-rich post-noir detective kind of game. So it's also got this like 2.5D <laughs> um, kind of art. I'm really excited about it. I believe the raccoon's name is Howard, which is the name of one of my best friends. So I'm pumped. I really like him. Sorry, missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Just enough time to clean up. Okay, so AD to move around, E to interact, and a tab for the detective menu. All right. Yeah, inspect corkboard. Can we? Okay, so not... okay, we can. We okay. can. Here we go. We can click these. Mama Helen Lotor, Lotor, taught me everything I know, and I've spent years trying to unlearn half of it. <laughs> Cute. Uh, Gaston, that's the dream. Well, if you're a wow, the language in this game could be quite complex. Let me know in the comments how to pronounce this, but I'm going to say if you were Borg Borgia, Borgius, Borgius, snob, I guess it's, if you're a bougie snob who dreams of overpriced salad, it is nice and clean though. Where all the fishing boats hang out, plenty of warehouses and seriously sketchy dive bars too. Granville, where the night comes to life. It got rough. It's got rough edges, but it feels like home. Home to the high and mighty. Skyscrapers full of apes, big shots, and ghetto communities. They can keep it. Vale Town. Good place for a nice but expensive date. Museums, fancy music halls. It's not been for a long. Oh, I've not been for a long time. No one's idea of paradise, mainly factories and cramped tenant blocks full of neglected souls. That's where the stuff gets made, doing honest work with your hands. Not a bad life, really. The greenery. Where most of our food is grown, widest open space in the city, more restrictions on public visits every year. Ah, uh, Pianetti, you beautiful, dangerous renegade you. Maybe one day you'll settle down and call me again. What's this? My diploma project. Places of absolute solitude. Only action my camera sees these days is snapping fools leaving places they shouldn't be in. Okay, I think we've interacted with everything on the board. Yeah. Okay. So there we can go through to the living room. Let's see what else is in this room first. Insurance frauds, stolen cars, estranged lovers. Should probably bin some of these old case files. Okay, use the mouse to drag and drop items. Some items can be picked up by pressing E. Okay. E to pick up. Is that all that's on here? This is something about drag and drop. What would we want to drag and drop on here? I guess maybe we just wanted to pick that up. Because we're cleaning up, I believe. Okay, nothing else in that direction. Let's go check out the living room. Okay, media set. Gotta hit, hit up Frankie to fix it when I have cash. So, never. Notes on a fridge. Call mom, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. <laughs> Love the humor in this game. Photo chemicals. Leaving photo developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. Window. Hard to get tired of this view. What's the view of? Looks like a view of the city. Place dishes. I'll wash these later. Probably not. He's kind of giving me Bojack Horseman vibes. Toilet books. The Great Apes, The Great Story. A swell toilet read. 
What else do we have in here? Guess back to the office. Okay, it's not prompting us with the desk anymore. It's the cork board. Oh, place chemicals. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> that must be Mrs. Green. Odette. I excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Lota. We spoke on the phone. I gather you have a case for me at your service. That's me, you were vague before, so tell me everything. Hmm, into they all I don't know, none of they they're not strikingly different. I guess number one's a bit cold. N number two is very yeah, number two is quite polite. It's like, how's your day? I think we're gonna go with like this kind of neutral, direct kind of thing. But I'm not not like particularly rude, like number one, but like number three, like that's me. Kind of thing. That's me, you were vague before. So tell me everything, Mrs. Green. Odette, please. And it's a matter I'd like to be discreet about. Alright, what are we dealing with? You don't last long in this game with a loose tongue. Um, you're some behind. No, this is very like um confrontational, I'm not sure what the word is. It's like yeah. Um Yeah, let's go with two, it's a little bit witty. I wanted a professional, and you came highly rec recommended. That's good to know. So, what's the trouble? Why are you worried about secrecy? Let's just go with what's the trouble. Understand the sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. He's missing. I'm listening. He's a cheater, ain't he? Wow, real glass half empty. This line. We're gonna go with I'm listening. He just hasn't been himself lately, getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. Suspect is cheating, you try to talk to him about it. We're, we're gonna go a little bit glass half full. You try to talk to him about it? Yes, but he gets difficult. Like, it's my fault. Listen, I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. I need it for the court. Court, are you filing for a divorce? Tell me about the affair. I'll get you... I'll get you the proof I did. I'm taking the case. Okay, let's find out a little bit more. Tell me about the affair. What do you need to know? Um, what made you think he's not faithful? He was always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work, and smelling funny. Has he been aggressive? What kind of smell? Skipping work? You caught him lying. How late are we talking? What kind of smell? Like perfume and not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something poignant. Kind of herbal stink. Uh, and you caught him lying? Well, he's just so bad at it. Wasn't much of a lie when we first met. At least I thought so. He's skipping work. I've had calls from his boss, wondering if he was sick. I even covered for him. I'm so fed up with this. How late are we talking? Way past the kids' dinner time. I asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. Hold up. Has he been aggressive? I can't see how this is pertinent, Mr. Loter. Um, it's to take the kids. Personal details can make or break. Let's talk about court then. Do you want to file for divorce? Personal details can make or break the case. I don't see how this would help you take a photo of my husband. Um, I have to know if he's dangerous. I'm an investigator. I know what's better required. Mm, we'll go with number one. We don't want to be, like, rude. Fine. He has a mean temper. Unpredictable. That's all you need to know. Um, he threatened to take the kids. Talk about court. Then you want to file for doors. Let's go with this route first. Um, talk about court. You want to file. That's right. And above all... I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband will want the kids? I, I can't take any chances anymore. But has he said or done something to make you think he would? This is a separate issue, one I don't want to dig up right now. I work better when I know everything. 
It's the Kenzo debt. I really need every edge I can get. <laughs> Evidence for a custody battle is extra, so... <laughs> no, that's not true. I work better when I know everything. I'd really, really rather keep a few boundaries, Mr. Lota. Okay, we're not gonna charge her extra. I'm taking the case. Let's talk final details. Show what you need to know. Okay. What does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. He wears glasses, square ones. And his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. It sounds quite generic. Where would I find him? Usually, I mean. Usually at work, or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. Have you met any of his friends? No, but he's mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. How would I pick him out out of a crowd? He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Okay, probably going to need to be remembering this. So green tie and hat, briefcase, wedding band. What's his full name? Any aliases? Jeremy Green. Hmm, ironic. I think people at work call him Jez. Where does he work? At the Woof Bank on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. That should be enough. There's just the matter of my fee. I can give you 100 now and 50 when you bring me the photos. Will that suffice? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses. It's not just my life riding on this. I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? To be honest, I can't. All I can do is my best. I care about my clients. Your problems are my problems. It's a matter of trust. Do you trust me? I'm going to say I care about my clients. Your problems are my problems. Don't let me down, Mr. Loter. I trust you with my life. Of course, I'll get right on it. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. It's a lovely name, Odette. Um, so we've got a new objective. I wonder if that appears on our cork board. Okay, we have control again. We, this isn't the current case, right? No, that's we've already we've already looked at that. So okay, so we immediately were prompted to go to Granville. <laughs> I like how the loading screen is a it's a burning cigarette. Cute. Wow, look at this art. It's beautiful. And the music also really sets the scene. All right, Granville, here we are. Granville, smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food and puke. My kind of battleground. Oh, we can talk to the squirrel. Yo, old man. Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Let's be polite. How's it going, fella? Just hanging. What's up with you? Could say I'm hanging too. I'm tracking someone for a case. We'll go with that. Okay, now we're talking. What the guy do? Murder? Arson? Nothing as bad as your gram against fashion. What's with that jacket? Um, We'll just say he's missing. Man, that's a letdown. Who's the chump? Your sense of humor is that's under client detective confidentiality. Ooh, tell me later then. Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man. Even if I had, why would I tell you? Well, see ya. Okay, can't talk to that guy. Okay, we can we can run as well. Whoa, he's fast. Anatoly. Hey, if it isn't Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you up to on a fine evening like this? Hey, Natoli, I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? Oh, no, it's a bit more friendly. My beaver, how are Estrella and the kid? They're both doing just fine. AC and I are good. Great. We even blessed the shepherd. Got a second lad too soon. Oh, and I got a great story for you too many if you ask me 
Another? Wow, you guys are lucky. Thanks. He's a big one, too. AC is round as a watermelon. Anyway, the story. I tell her, ha, woman, you are getting... You get any bigger and I won't fit you into the trunk of the car. I don't get it. Um, great, can you ask a couple of my questions? Huh, funny. <laughs> um, do you think it's kind of mean? I mean, yeah. Just great. <laughs> How is up? What's so important? You can't let a friend tell their story. I'm looking for a guy. Here's the photo. Seen him recently? Poofed. I don't know, Howie. I see so many faces. I know the scrawny sorts like flashing their cash at the bite, though. Have you seen him there? I look like the kind of guy to be there. Ace, he'd have my balls. Anyway, Howie, you're scaring off my clients, you know? Alright, thanks, Anatoly. See you around. Alright, we might want to be a little bit more chatty. Rogue. They did a great job of restoring the rogue. If people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. It's an interesting perspective. The canines. Cocktails in a movie. Sounds like a great plan for the weekend, actually. Post. Eden Simmons is the hottest new jazz star. See you tonight, only at the bite. Okay, uh, what we're going to Oh, he works at Woof Bank. Woof Bank. Is this where Green works? I think so. Banker. Um... Let's, let's be nice. How are you doing this pleasant evening? Why do you care? We'll just go like, oh, is Jess around? And who are you? Wallace. <laughs> Asshole is me money for looking from every, everywhere. P.I. Howard Lota. When was the last time you saw him? Um, let's just like, you know, play, play a character. We're Wallace, yeah. You and me both, pal. And Derek. Good luck getting it back anytime soon. Oh, I'll pay if I can find him. Seen him today? Um, yes, got the one. He'll pay. Of course, but the wimp ass left work early. He's scared Derek's gonna sp split his wig, huh? Um, something happened at work? Heard his contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Did your boy spend time with him out of work? Where do you think he was headed? He got a girlfriend or something. Hmm. I hope we still get these um, other ones, but let's just, like, just warm up to the guys. You spend time with them outside of work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the Bite every Thursday until he turned into a needy leech. The Bite? Could he be there now? How the fuck would I know? I'll skedaddle, rack. <laughs> okay, I'll do just that. Okay, I guess we can't ask them about the girlfriend, but I'm sure we'll find out in time. The Bite, here we go. I definitely wouldn't fit in with that crowd. Wouldn't want to. How are we gonna get in? Hank. Are we friends with Hank? No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind. I guess loons is the currency. My friend Carlos is waiting inside. Go ask him. I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? <laughs> uh, Carlos is waiting inside. Oh yeah, of course. Get lost in help. <laughs> Oh, all right, jeez. Okay, Hank. Can I get inside? Still no. Don't ask you. <laughs> okay. Ooh, an alley. Maybe we can get in this way. Larry. Howard, well, I'll be damned. It's been a while. Wow, Larry? The one and only, it's been too long. What's going on, old man? Ha, who are you calling old, you old rascal? Ha, uh, alright, that's fair. Plus, these rags <laughs> likely don't help my appearance any. I didn't expect to see you here, to be honest. Who really expect to see anyone of note in a back alley? What's going on? What are you up to? Wait, do you live here? I live? Have you seen how tough the crowd here is? No, I live at the bridge. It's not really as bad as it sounds. I'm so sorry, Larry. Can I help in any way? Not really. Thank you, though. Now, what's your deal? Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Awful things to spring. Why? Can't tell. Uh, say nothing serious. Just messed up his marriage. 
Yeah, like they do. What's he like? Tall purple. No, he doesn't wear a purple hat. Chubby. He's got my height. Chubby with a green hat. Here's a photo. I mean, the photo makes the most sense, right? But this does reference the hat. But I don't know if he is his height or chubby. We'll just say here's a photo. Haven't seen him. Sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. Um, I gotta leave, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You send the guys an otter? That's weird. Have any ideas how I could get in? Where can I get a good disguise? Maybe if I was a handsome cat. Any ideas? What you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with the leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? Your typical, like, hype and shadow fang. Oh, and get this. He started rolling out something called monkey butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. I think this Johnny guy would help, monkey butt. What do you know about the bite? Um... Okay, well, let's... What is he... And the Johnny guy's gonna help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. What do you know about the bite? Owners of Bloodworth. So lots of rumors floating around about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth? The bear family? Crime family. Last year, head of the family up and died and shit at the van. Heir ended up in prison. And the current owner's relative? Yeah, she's the Ill illegitimate daughter or something. Whoa, what are the rumors? Oh, all kinds of bullshit. How she's got an ape for a lover, or that she was the one who got all the others killed so she could take over. Monkey butt? Yeah, word is this new thing's the shit, though perhaps a little bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stanky thing. Does it have any kind of a herbal stink? No first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. Alright, hopefully that's enough to get me into the bite. Thanks. You got it, Howard. A welcome distraction, really. See you soon? Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see you. Interesting. So that could be the herbal smell. Okay. So, well, let's see what else is in this alley while we're here. There's an intercom. Okay, we'll check out the intercom. No answer. Okay. So, I think we saw the squirrel near where we entered, I believe. He was down this way. Okay, we walked quite a ways. You were a squirrel, right? Are you Johnny? Who's asking? wonder do we play the character i mean wellness I mean, maybe we want to make friends with him for later so like i'm howard Lota. pleased to meet you fitting name for a grown-ass dude in a trench coat what do you need you got any drugs who'd you deal monkey butt i need to get us a bite we're gonna go with like the um the little chill answer <laughs> you know we don't want to like call them out i need to get into the bite i bet you do pal why should i care i'm a detective my top is inside that club heard they sell monkey butt through you Listen, I heard it's a place to go for the good shit. Oh, you mean like that new school jazz or the great upholstery? I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, right. Get out of here, old fart. Kid, I know I'm being a bore, but I really need your help. Please, would you lend a hand? Just help me with the big guy out front. That's all I'm asking. Hmm... Try to be nice. What's in it for Johnny? Johnny gets to not be introduced to the cops. I'm a detective. My mark is in the bias. I'll owe you one. Just the warm, fuzzy feeling. You're a nice guy, after all. Yeah. Detective. You're shitting me. Prove it, punk. I might consider not turning into the cops if you help me out. You feel me? Look at me. I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Ever heard of that? 
we'll try to do the favor thing. I don't trust strippers, let alone <laughs> stripers. I don't trust stripers, let alone ones in trench coats. Johnny, look into my eyes. Do you look like the eyes of a liar? Bit rich coming from a bushy tail corner boy, don't you think? But you would trust me. I know it in my heart. Uh, are we gonna call him a bushy tailed corner boy? Shut your mouth or I'll stuff your trash tail in it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna. We're not gonna go down the street. We're gonna be nice. You know, you're right. I am a loser, but I need your help. Oh, you're pathetic. Would you get lost just looking at your fucked up faces, scarring me for life? Uh, yes, yes. I really, really do. Help me, Johnny. So my face caught your attention, then. Hmm. I don't know what I really, really do. Mm. So my face caught your attention. Oh, you want something right now? I'll write you ask, please. Could be if you play your cards right. How can I earn your trust? Wait, what are we even talking about? Yeah. About you. I I think I'm if you think, I mean, this is gonna help me. I'm warning you, this is your last chance. I'm not even sure this line of questioning is going. I don't wanna blow it. Then shut up and buy something. Is that what I'm here for, or else what? Else I'll teach you not to fuck with me. But late for that, isn't it? Ah. Give me to the bike, Johnny. You know what? Fine. I don't even care. Let's go up the bank. Thank you so much. <laughs> I feel like we just annoyed him into letting us in. Okay. Hank, here's Johnny. Hey Johnny, oh you brought my favorite customer. Striper, you can come in, don't cause any trouble. Okay, <laughs> thanks, go inside. And we gotta save. Alright guys, I think I'm going to be ending this part off over here. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.